So Blake, today we've got a great iconic 55 Chevy out of the Chevrolet Performance Garage. You know, the Tri-5 lovers in the audience would just drool all over this if they could see it up close. Let's tell them a little bit more about it today. This body is pretty much original. What's been done to it? Well, Bill, it is original. So we retained all the original stainless steel moldings and repolished them and repurposed them. It's got updated badges done by GM Design to reflect that heritage feel. But we also flipped the paint colors, if you notice. They are custom colors by PPG. However, we flipped it. Where normally it's white, we have the color, and where it's color, we have the white. And we've got the E-Rod logos on the side. I, I think the treatment is, is great. It's classic. Uh, it looks very modern with the color combination but yet it's still a 55 Chevy. So everybody, the Tri-5 guys can really identify it. We didn't modify it, chop it all up. Uh, did a great job on the exterior. What about the interior? Well, Bill, the interior is all redone in, in custom colors. However, we did retain some of the original colorings from the convertible versions of the 55. Of course, the interior is redone with a new steering wheel and the like, but it's completely retrimmed out in new colors. You know, I think it's really cool that you kept the bench seat to give it that old school flavor. And uh, it, it just looks fantastic and very unique with that material. So obviously we're always interested in the mechanicals on the car. So that covers the body and interior. What do we do on the steering brakes chassis? What's underneath this uh, sheet metal here? Well, Bill, we've got the two inch drop spindles in the front. We're running a C4 brakes and rotors all the way around with the old school steelies from a Gen 5 Camaro. Uh, the suspension's been all upgraded and done, but it is the original frame. The car itself, of course, is iconic in the fact that it was known as the E-Rod. So, what does that mean? Bill, it's an LS3 E-Rod. That means it includes all the catalytic converters and necessary items to make it an emission legal package for engine replacements in certain 1995 and older vehicles. Now, of course, this one is much older than 1995, but it still fits the bill perfectly. Well, Blake, thanks for sharing today about some of the details with the 1955 Chevrolet E-Rod from the Chevrolet Performance Garage. I hope our viewers learn some of the things that they can also get and incorporate in their project vehicle. So if you'd like to learn more about this particular car or other vehicles in the Chevrolet Performance Garage, go to ChevroletPerformance.com to see what we have for you.